Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back. We are at day 21 now, the bottom of our third week here on Season 3. Oh, today is going to be a bit more relaxed than yesterday, hopefully. I'm just going to shove this stuff in the bank for now in that tab so I can quickly get back to it and go do a birdhouse run. But yeah, I'm hoping we have a bit more of a chill time today because yesterday was fucking stressful. No word of a lie. What am I missing? Chisel. That's what I'm missing. <laughs> Chisel. Yeah, yesterday was stress, man. Like, trying to get those bosses done. Oh, it was rough. So I'm excited to not have any difficult fights today because I am still recovering from whatever the hell it is I'm ill with. I think it might be like long COVID or something. But yeah, obviously we're starting off with our burbs and our herbs and then we'll be off to turn in Perilous Moons. Get ourselves a whole bunch of XP from that and maybe we'll even have some juicy loot in the Lunar Chest. We shall just have to see. Quick reset again. Yeah, it's going to be uh, some quests today, I think. Just a few... Little nice easy quests, nothing crazy. Working towards our Defender of Varrock. That's not the right type of seed. Oh my gosh. I drop things here. So awkward. Oh, Renacid's dropped even further. Keep going down in a minute. Which is good for us. I know we just bought some, so we could have, like, saved money on today's, but it's good in general if they're low. <laughs> they were, like, 22k when we started, I think. 23.3 now. I didn't even look up the price of Obsidian. Completely forgot about it. We're not going to need it today anyway, so it's all good. Alright, another clean six for six. I swear I don't even get rates like this on my main farming Renars, which is like 89 farming or something. <laughs> Pop over to the GE and sell up our trap. Pretty sure that's about everything. They've been in there for a couple days. Price must be bad on them. Way bad. I don't like how the new interface looks. It's ugly. They changed it so you could make like custom plus X and minus X and whatever, but I just I think it looks ugly. I'm used to having five buttons there and now there's six, it's just weird. Like the middle being a dot, what is that dot 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 even? Enterprise. Oh, it feels weird. Alright, well, we sold most of the expensive stuff, there's only about 200k left in there now, so what are we up to? 3.5 mil. Okay. Well, let's go on over to Cam to Rum, see if we can get ourselves a nice drop from Perilous Moons or something. Oh, we still need to reclaim Scurry. I completely forgot about that. I'll do that sometime when I'm not on the clock. Okay, turn to Jessamine. Where is she? There we go. Talk to Zuma. Is she gonna take me to the chamber? No. She's just gonna disappear and give me a bunch of XP. Look at that. That is a lot. That was a lot of XP. We got three Slayer levels, three Runecraft levels, an efficient level, I think. Very nice indeed. Beast down here training. What up, Cushy? If you just happen to be one of my viewers who picks that method up from me, you're a motherfucking legend. We got some darts! Let's go! No, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's like literally nothing. But whatever. We got some combat achievements too. In fact, how close are we to these combat darts? 11 points. Okay, not far at all. Let's go. Speed run below Ice Mountain. What do we need here? Bread, dink, beef. No, we don't have any. We can get some. It's fine. Glory, coins, and teleports. Alright, that should do. Let's go to the monastery. 
I don't have to do these in order, do I? Because I don't think order is the correct way. I should do check at last. Where the fuck is Willow? Oh my gosh, did I go the wrong way? <laughs> you know what I said about the speed room below Ice Mountain, yeah? We haven't started yet, so it doesn't count. Okay, now it starts. Okay, I'm going to this guy first. Oh, do I actually have to go buy one? I have to use it on him? Oh, I just exited out of it by accident. I'm an idiot. Okay, that's burnt off done. Do we have a... No, we don't have a wolf on us. I feel like I should have got the meat first. Okay. Quick teleport to a bank to get a wolf. Oh, I don't like this at all. It's not where my hands used to go in. Okay, got a steak sandwich. What am I doing? I should just teleport. That's another one down. For some reason, it does not register correctly though. I remember that from when I was speedrunning this for my graceful recall. Get ready for a cutscene. I wonder if I turn off my run energy before I go into it if it'll regen more. That might be the dumbest thing I've ever said, but... Five minutes later. Hey, now we can flex. Look at our big strong arms. Run! And now we're actually near because we did check all last rather than first. Things are run the wrong fucking way again. Wait, no, this it, this time we are going up here. Oh my gosh. I almost did go the wrong way because I was going to go over there. Double check the map. Yep, looks sick. <laughs> I didn't bring any gear, but I'm pretty sure this will be an extremely easy fight. So it's a free to play quest after all. We could just bonk him with the German staff. We'll be fine. Now, this quest is actually pretty long. Just from shit that there's no way to speed up like cutscenes. What is it with these cutscenes with the black bars at the side that give you like the weird inverted view? I don't feel like I've ever noticed them before until this series. Can you die faster please? Okay, maybe I should have broke here. There we go. Alright, and that is that done. Do we have to talk to this guy? I guess. Bah, 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 bah. I don't care. Let's go to the next one. Just getting a quick little reset. We will actually want some combat gear for this, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna go get a Chaos Talisman from the GE. Okay, Chronicle. Down here a bit. This should actually be a bit quicker, I think. I guess we'll still probably have quite a bit of time left, so it'll probably be on to the smithing after that. It'll be our only remaining requirement for Defender of our Rock. We shouldn't take too long to finish off at all. Oh, you don't get XP from these guys? Okay, back to him. Cool. Go to the library. Okay. So I'm just gonna go to Ferox. Run from there. Somewhere over here. Okay, there's a maze, apparently. Oh gosh, it's a portal maze. Oh my. I was not expecting this to be difficult. Wait, is there a ladder somewhere? Because if there is, I'll just click the ladder, right? I think we're good. I think we figured it out. <laughs> That's the next one. Here. Should have brought regular energy, not just them. Um, I think we're almost there to be fair. That looks like the end actually. Perfect. Right. We do this. We go back to Ferox for a reset. Go grab the gear we just had on. Why do I need a ball? Oh, now. <laughs> With a wand and a ball. I was just thinking like it. It's me to bring the ball, but... <laughs> Okay, back to rat. Oh, I did bring my pots. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna have to just pause this time. Go to the bathroom real quick. Alright, back to it. Ah, uh, rock. Alright, just gonna grab my pots real quick. Can I make water ball staffs? Probably not. Ooh, we're only a couple levels off. We do actually need 55 crafting. Okay, I think we're done. Just gotta turn this one in. Not too bad at all. Then I guess we're off over to the Blast Furnace to finish off the gold that we did the other day. There we go, that is what lies below completed. I'm gonna go get a quick reset before I do jump on over to the Blast Furnace. The reason I'm thinking about this crafting is because we just got like 40 water battle staffs. Do we actually have any of the Varrock Diaries done? No, we don't. I mean, we could do, but there's no particular need to right now. So let's uh, let's get back to the blast furnace. Okay, we want our ice gloves, our goldsmith's gauntlets, and our gold. That's literally it. On oh, some stamina, in lightness. 
Ooh, you know what would make us actually quicker? I love it when I think of things. Let's go grab ourselves a cheeky little spottier cape. If we can get one. There we go. I believe that reduces... I'm an idiot. <laughs> we do a normal one? <laughs> Spotted cape? Hey, I believe that reduces our weight, right? Yeah, it's an extra minus three, so that will be kind of nice. Make our energy last just an ever so slightly longer. I believe I'm already on the Blast Furnace world. When I locked in, I made sure I was going to be on the right one. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to pay the man again, aren't we, actually? I don't think about that. Okay, that's ten minutes. Honestly, that might be enough. We'll just have to see. There's 53. Two more levels left. There's 54. Ooh, I was not looking up my run energy. We are right at the end, though, here. Last few. Not even a full invent. I'm gonna go ahead and take my money out of the coffers as well. Don't think we'll be back here at any point. There is the 55 smithing. Okay, so I think we head to the GE. If we got anything else we need to offload, I think we're good. I'm keeping hold of these water orbs. They're worth more to me than they are on the GE. We're gonna make some money out of them right now. If we can. First, we will need to cut some diamonds. How many diamonds do we need to cut to get to 55? I think 55 is our goal. Yep, that's our overall goal. We will need 400 diamonds. That's a lot of diamonds. That is a lot of diamonds. This is still not great, is it? About rubies, we'd need 500. Well, that's more doable. Doesn't feel great, though. Fuck it. Although we lose money on these as well. It's not ideal. Maybe this wasn't my smartest idea. Wait, yeah, can't I just, like, have the node supply and then use them on a... There's 52 crafting. Oh, but then I have to bank these, right. I'm trying to figure out whether it's worth, like, turning them into jewellery and selling them. Rather than just selling the cut ones back. I don't know, though. There's 53. I don't think we'll get another level today, unfortunately, but we can just finish it off at the start of tomorrow, which will be a very nice indeed. It'll give us access to those water battle staffs, which means we need some normal staffs to go with them. So I may consider doing the Varrock easy. I don't think it'll be too tough to get done. Get us some daily battle staffs for cheap. Allow us to get the money out of without spending too much. Oh, I'm just going to go do a bird house run because it's close. Yeah, there's nothing too difficult here, right? Like, it's all very easy stuff. We get 15 battle staffs a day at 7k each. I don't know what the GE price of a battle staff is, but it's probably more than so. It's probably like 7,800 or something. Yeah, some battle staffs like 900 GP more on the GE than it would be to buy from Zaf. But we can do a couple. We could maybe even do the medium, which wouldn't be terrible. While we're here, should we look for obsidian? Never used this tab before. Okay, so about 1.3 mil for both pieces. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna consolidate these. That's a willow seed. Well, well, well. Bit of a weird one today, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's probably just because I, I feel kind of shitty. My mind's not working 100% at all, fully honest. I think I need to go lay down for a bit, but... What the fuck? <laughs> we get 135,000 XP today. I was not expecting that. I was expecting like a 60k day or something. 5k fishing, 40k slayer, that is obviously a massive, like, a massive part of it. We got a bunch done from the end of Perilous Moods, but we also got 45k in smithing, you know? And we got 13k in ring crafting and 18k in crafting there at the end. Working towards those water battle stuffs, like I said, we'll be looking at the achievement diaries next. Looks like we've already got a few tasks crossed off, so it shouldn't take us too long to crack that out tomorrow. And can we do this one as well? I feel like we can do all of this. We'd need to do a soul spin. But yeah, the rest is all doable, so we might even do the second half of it, because then we'll get more battle staffs a day. I'm guessing it might be 40, which is exactly the amount we need. We shall see. Either way, those battle staffs will be useful afterwards. We can still add them to our daily list of things to do, just buying them and selling them for 900 GP profit each. 
on the GE. Generally pretty decent there. What have we got cash wise? We're on 339 at the minute, but we do have these rubies still which are worth probably about 400k. We've got another day worth of Renar Seeds and a day planted. So that'll be some more cash in tomorrow. Really, the cash stack doesn't look like it's changed much today. We sold a bunch of stuff, but then we also bought these rubies. So it's kind of hard to see it. These water robs that sell for 803 GP each, once we attach them to a staff, we're going to basically make like 2.5k each, 2.3k each rather than 800. So that's why I'm saving them on onto them because it's it's well well worth it i think maybe it's not with that small amount but eh we need the crafting levels anyway for a quest down the line is what it is and we got a bunch of quests done today three quests done perilous moons below ice mountain and what lies below all completed so we're now completely ready to begin defender of varrock which i will be doing probably tomorrow depending on how long it takes us to do those diaries if we decide to do them first we shall just have to see what i decide that's going to be all for this one though hope you're continuing to enjoy the series make sure you leave a like button leave a like on the video not a like button leave a like on the button on the video I, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna go lay down i'm gonna go lay down subscribe comment look after yourselves be lovely to one another i'll see you on the next one